pretty normalized stuff. This is a Shardless Bug deck. It's a, it's definitely a different take on the deck, though. Um, you know, you've got two Toxic Deluge main deck, uh, two Jaces. We do see those numbers vary from time to time. There are four uh, Abrupt Decays, four Ancestral Visions, of course, uh, four Death Rites, four Shardless, a Tomb Stalker, four Tarmogoy. So we normally see Bilful Strix or him and Torax, um, but we're not going to find those here for the most part outside of the Strix in the sideboard. And Lady's sideboard has a lot of different stuff going on here, too. Three copies of Rest in Peace that's normally a two of, Two copies of uh, Pending Needle, that's more commonly a one or zero of. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of different sideboard going on here. It looks like he's gotten away from the creatures all together in this in this sideboard. No copies of Grim Lava Mancer, no copies of Meddling Mage. Well, there's a Needle. You have to imagine that's going to be naming Death Right Shaman, and that's exactly what it will lock down. So, say goodbye to that. And Lady's List here is playing some basic lands. You see an island in here, also has a Plains to go fetch. So different build of this list. Could see a Delver Mirror. As wild as this top eight has been, we've seen some pretty obscure and strange decks. You did say that cream does rise. This is how this goes. Yeah. No one should be upset about it. You know, this is just the way the world works. Now, to be fair, Charlotte's Buck did win last weekend in Portland, the Hannah James win. So it is certainly capable of still winning tournaments. This is a different build. Well, having Charlotte's Agent and no copies of Baleful Strix is way outside the box. Mm -hmm. The free stuff deck, you yeah. know? Tell her secrets here from tights. Well, we will sacrifice a polluted delta. Let's see what land Josh wants to go grab. CCO, pretty good friends with James Rekowitz and some of those other guys. I believe he's got a pretty nice le legacy pedigree. Mm -hmm. Walking by Rekowitz during our break, just asking, who do you think is going to win the tournament, Dan Jordan or Josh? I said, I don't know, man. Maybe Charlie. <laughs> There's an abrupt decay to get this, uh, get this death right challenge back online. I think that if it's a, a normal Magic player instead of Dan Jordan playing that quarterfinal match, he's playing against Eric Smith, and things are quite a bit different. Yeah, matchup is certainly different, that's for sure. Ancestral Vision, the draw. Death Rite Shaman. Looks like it's going to cast a Charlotte's Agent. Time to Cascade. Here we go. Going by a whole bunch of stuff. Thoughtseize is the weapon of choice. Might have Souls Betrayal on the bottom, or at least going to be shuffled. However, because there are so many fetch lands in this deck, you have to imagine that, you know, it'll just get shuffled back in the deck. Doesn't matter a ton. Yeah. Won't get too hung up on it. Nope. Lady's hand's pretty soft, though. A lot of lands. And, and you can see here, it looks like he was trying to brainstorm with the hope of you know, putting some lands back, shuffling, and so forth. But the slot is forcing his hand. So Levy is at risk of having a bad brainstorm here and having some, some dead draws. Mm -hmm. Volcanic Island is the weapon of choice here. We'll see if we see a bolt, maybe a spell pierce. Who knows what? Wouldn't be surprised to see a brainstorm hide things. That's what we will see. Uh, of course, Charlotte's Bug is not a deck you have to worry about days from. Yes. Charlotte's Agent means spell pierce, days, cards of that ilk. You're not going to see. And it makes sense for Josh to want a sideboard meddling mage because a lot of the normal disruptive tools that blue decks get are off the table for him because of Shardless Agent. Mm -hmm. Meddling mage, though, that's a nice thing to cascade into. That's a nice thought seize. Enjoy. Well, <laughs> on, one, on one hand, I'm sure Josh is not thrilled to have missed. Uh -huh. On the other hand, I'm sure he's thrilled to have missed. Yeah, <laughs> so you have two spells on top of your deck. They had better be good. Yeah. Well, there are two wastelands there, and here's a red elemental blast, so that's pretty good. Delver's going to flip into Insectile Aberration. Levy can start actually going after Josh's lands now with those wastelands, all playing a little bit of a tempo game, so that's exactly what's going to happen. Tough to play that sort of game against someone with an active Death Rite Shaman. This is true. Also, knowing that he, that he has nothing to fear outside of a red blast. Start by attacking for two. Death right gonna go active. There's an abrupt decay. Get that weak stuff out of here. Oh, it doesn't look like Josh has another land to play. 
Maybe he kept a land on top of his deck. It was a Tundra, so... It was not the best Brainstorm, that's for sure. Yeah. There's a Wasteland. Get this land out of here. CCO will draw a card. In for two comes a Charless Agent. Deathrite's going to generate some mana. Going to suspend Ancestral Visions. Four counters to begin, and that will wind down. But we know that, for the time being at least, Levy has that covered. Mm hmm The question, of course, is what do you want to do with the Red Blast? Tag that Ancestral Visions. Yeah, I mean, he could, I mean, he could obviously could tag the... Uh, could tag the Charlotte Station if he's tired of taking damage. I don't know if that's the best use of the card. I think he's got to hope that, that Josh Jay's stuck on lands for the foreseeable future. Yeah. Oh, Josh is going to remove a land and cast a Brainstorm here. This might be worth countering, too. That Elemental Blast is being taxed now. Oh, spell Pierce is good. I like using the Spell Pierce here because Josh may draw lands and be able to pay for the Ancestral down the line, mm -hmm. but that Red Blast is, is definitely safe. No, I, yeah, I absolutely love the use. Here's a Ponder. One, two, and three. Bolt, a Delver, and a Flooded Strand. Those aren't bad. Yeah, uh, he can try to take the Delver here and then keep Bolt on top, hope that Josh's visit land drop, Bolt the Death Ride Shaman, and get some real tempo going in this game. It looks like he's set up to do exactly that. Down to two goes the Visions. Looks like a Marsh Flats was the draw. That's a huge draw. Yep. If, if Josh missed a land drop this turn, things start getting really ugly for him. Oh. Although, as it stands, if he has nothing to add to his board this turn, you know, he has Jason the Mind Sculptor in his hand, another Shardless Agent. I'm not sure he has anything castable. Yeah, the only thing you can do now is, you know, sacrifice the Marsh Flats, find a land that produces black mana or green mana, whatever, and start going to work with Deathrite Shaman. Sissio is going to sacrifice the Marsh Flats after the Delver does flip before Levy does draw the Lightning Bolt. Going to go to Bayou. We believe. Wants to make sure that's what he wants to get. Eh, nope. We'll choose a little bit differently. Maybe an Underground Sea. Tropical Island is the weapon of choice. Well, you can't fetch for that with a Marsh Flats. That's true, so we won't let that happen. Try Third term's the charm. <laughs> there we go. Nope. Nope. And there yeah. it is. Yes. All right. Yes. We have done it. Who says fetching is easy? It's not. Well, there's, a, there's very few decks in Legacy that can't get the dual land they want at any time with any of their fetch lands. No. Because Josh has entered a fourth color to the equation. Now that can come up. Here comes Santa Claus. Sissio going to go down to nine. All of a sudden, it's a race. And I'm telling you, I wouldn't be surprised if this Red Black goes after Charlotte's Asian now. Just because I feel like the race right now is in Levy's favor. I still think that you got to fight over the Ancestral. You know, Josh showed that he had nothing to do last turn with the mana. Okay. So letting him draw out, I think, is really risky. Because he either finds lands or finds something cheap to do. And you, you, you can take four hits here, you know? What does that matter? That's You're true. winning the race. Down to six. Down to five. Doesn't change the clock at all. Yeah, Levy knows that there's a land on top, so he's mm -hmm. going to shuffle. Get a Tundra. Yeah, I'm Red Blasting this Ancestral. Josh has, you know, when he finally did draw a land, all he could muster was a Death Red Shaman activation. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's got a lot going on in that hand. If he finds something like land plus Abrupt Decay, it won't, probably will not matter that you got that Charlotte's Agent off the table. Types will draw a card. Other land. Can that Delver hang on? There's Tundra. In we go. CCO's going to go down to six. Ancestral? Yeah, not a chance. Yeah, like it. Take a draw. Looks like it was a basic forest, I believe. In for two. Tice goes down to three. 
That's gonna allow him to cast a Sylvan Library. That one certainly matters. Tide's gonna untap the Delver, draw a card. It's not a Lightning Bolt, it's another land. There's a Plains. Gotta hold on for for one more you turn. Got, you gotta keep coming. Yep. Can't stop now. Can't stop now. Yeah, it's three to three. Sylvan Library. Two Looking for abrupt three. decay. Yep. There's a ugh, there's a Thoughtseize. There's a Force of Will. I don't know if there's any help there. Josh is looking. I mean, the big one actually is a land. Like a fetch land, I think would be the best thing you can find outside of the obvious abrupt decay. Because if he finds a fetch land, he can actually clear the top of the cards off the top of the deck and pass a Charlotte's Agent and hope for the best. But I don't think any of those are a land. He's giving a long look and he's going to extend the hand. Wow. Maybe Tights is going to win this match over Josh Cicio. Two games to zero on blue, white, red, Delver in a matchup I thought it was not going to be favored and is moving on, and we are going to have the mirror. Yeah, it's, it, I mean, Levy just held on. Yeah. And if Josh has any two mana spell there that isn't the Sylvan Library, <laughs> I mean, you know, Tarmogoyce enough to win that game. Yep. Certainly Abrupt Decay is. Yep. Uh, but, and uh, so the Sylvan Library still gives him a lot of looks at it, but just could not find an answer to that pesky insect aberration, and now the mirror awaits. We'll bring it back to the booth here. Because